GPP, NPP, and respiration. Here we go. So first off, before we get to this worksheet, please, please, please make sure you're doing the lecture notes first. That's going to do a lot of explanation for this whole thing. Okay, so like we talked about in lecture, the gross primary productivity, or the GPP, is the total amount of CO2 that's fixed by the plant in photosynthesis, or basically by doing photosynthesis, they're taking CO2 and they're making glucose. All right, respiration is the amount of CO2 that is lost from an organism or system from metabolic activity, or basically plants need to do this in order to stay alive. So the net primary productivity is the net amount of primary productivity after the costs of plant respiration are included. Therefore, NPP equals the gross minus the respiration. So like I said in the video, Let's say that they make 100 molecules of glucose, okay? It costs the plant 20 glucose molecules to stay alive. So if I take this formula, NPP equals GPP minus R, I would put, just kind of plug and play with the numbers, okay? Hopefully you know that 100 minus 20, that equals 80. All right, that's basically what we're practicing today. All right, background information. This is kind of an interesting on how they basically set up this experiment. So they're talking about the light bottle versus the dark bottle. So basically read through that. You're going to skim through that to kind of figure out what we're talking about. All right, the back has some questions. I'm only going to go through one of them. You got to go through two, three, four, and five. Okay, so here we go with number one. If the GPP for a patch of forest is 10 kilograms of carbon per square meter per year, or basically just honestly, I'm gonna kind of write notes to myself, GPP equals 10. I'm just gonna keep it simple for myself, okay? And the amount of carbon dioxide leaving the ecosystem, don't ask how we measured this, is five kilograms of carbon per square meter per year. What's the NPP? So that part that's leaving, that would be the respiration. Okay, so GPP equals 10, RPP, that equals five, all right, from our Equation here on the front, NPP equals GPP minus R. So NPP equals GPP minus R. Just plug and play, put some numbers in. So GPP, 10, respiration, 5, NPP would be 5. All right, so now I'm going to take that and I'm going to put the correct units to go along with it. That's a really, really, really important in science. Okay, we did that with our um, mealworm lab the other day. Per square meter, per, whoops, spelled that wrong, per year. Okay, that's my answer right there. All right, so again, just plug and play with what we got going on. Figure out what GPP is, respiration, figure out what the NPP is in the questions. Just do some math. All right, good luck, guys.